Okay, so it is time to harvest some potatoes. These are the potatoes that Henderson and I started in containers under straw. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump them in here, see what kind of uh, harvest we get. This first pail here though are potatoes that we planted under dirt. So they were all fingerling, French fingerling potatoes. So we'll try the ones that were planted under dirt first, see what we get. I'm going to pull them right into this barrel, pull them out if we can. Oh. Pretty dry. See if we can find any potatoes. And right, boy, I found one here. There's one potato. So these aren't very big. And they're kind of a long or not really round. But here, there's a couple nice ones there. So just keep them in here. Oh, don't throw them out. Yeah, these are some nice sized potatoes here. I'm showing you this from a different angle because you can see when you pull away the plants, there's the seed potato there. Somebody's uh, throwing all the potatoes out though. Need them. Got to cook them first. Whoops, that's the seed. So there is the harvest from three plants in the grown in containers under dirt. So this is probably enough for a small meal for a couple people, or I mean three or four people maybe. So let's see what we can get from our container that we have planted uh, the potatoes under straw. Okay, so we'll see how this one turns out. So in this container we have, I believe, one, I think I might have put five seed potatoes in here. I should have watered these, they're very dry. So see what we get. Under straw. So we basically just set the seed potatoes right on top of the dirt and just see what happens here. Not seeing a lot of potatoes so far. Wow. All I see is the seed potato and no babies. There's a little, little one. Oh, now we're finding some. There we go. Yeah, you don't have to throw them on the ground, but okay. We'll gather them up later. So yeah, it's looking pretty good now that I get in here. I think harvesting potatoes is one of the funnest things to do in the garden, because you never know what you're gonna get until it's time to harvest. Uh -huh. Doesn't seem to be a huge amount in here. You really gotta uh -huh. sift through. Sorry. Uh -huh. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm hitting you with all the dirt. Okay, let's rip this apart. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Okay, so we'll gather these all up in a container and see what we got. Okay, so here is the harvest from the potatoes started under straw in the grow bag. Nothing too great. There was a few more plants than what I had in the one under dirt, but here are the harvest from those two containers. So it's not enough definitely to get you through the winter or anything, but a uh, couple meals here. So not so bad. So we also planted some of the fingerling potatoes in these three tubs here. These are 30 gallon tubs and these were set on the soil that was these tubs are about half full of soil we just set the uh, seed potatoes on top of the soil and cover them with about four or five inches of straw and they are ready to harvest so let's see what's in these i'm hoping for a bigger harvest and bigger potatoes out okay of these. these are a little more trickier to harvest i can't actually i'm not going to try to dump dump the container i'm just going to pull the straw off see what lies underneath. I can see quite a few so far. I think we'll just try pulling the plant. Whoop, somebody's got a hold of my camera. Hang on, buddy. So I'm just gonna yank these plants out and see what we got here. I think we got a little bit of harvest, maybe a little bigger, hopefully. Yeah, these are nice size. Don't really want to harvest them all right now. I prefer just to kind of harvest as we want to eat them. They might as well stay in the ground. So my grandson Henderson is 18 months old and him and my daughter Brady have been living with us all summer waiting for their uh, new place to be ready to move into. So he has been a huge help in my garden. That's why you've seen a lot of videos of him He's only 18 months old, but he definitely Hello. likes being out here. He loves to water. He loves to taste everything, <laughs> some things that he shouldn't. So they will be uh, moving into their new place here in a few weeks. So it's gonna be very sad to lose my little gardening friend. But they're not moving very far away and he will probably be out on the weekends helping me out. Once the uh, outdoor growing season ends, I will be moving to the indoor growing. So there will definitely be lots going on in my basement in the next, coming up in the next month or so. So I think, you know, the method of growing under straw is something that you can try. It doesn't necessarily work any better, any worse. For me, you know, if you're looking, just try to save on all the dirt you need to fill these containers. Straw makes a great filler if you have access to it. And I just think that, um, you know, no matter how big you're of a gardener you are, if you have a bunch of these five gallon pails or these tubs and you can get some potatoes going in them, you know, you can get several weeks of uh, potato feasts going, you know, depending on how many you Grow, but it definitely is doable to grow potatoes in containers especially if you live in a in a space where you don't have room for a big garden definitely something you might want to try so there's another container full of potatoes I'm gonna leave these other ones for now so out of three containers this is all the potatoes that we have harvested today it's not bad this should give us a potato with our meals for at least, you know, the next four to six days, depending on how much we want to eat. I'm pretty happy with that. 
and I still got two more big containers to harvest. And I also still have my huge potato patch of potatoes that I've grown under straw. These are a few varieties. I believe I have some russets and some Yukon gold and some red uh, Norlands. We've had a few suppers out of these already, but I will just keep digging them up as needed. And by the end of the season, when it gets cold, maybe we'll have a nice little supply to get us through part of the winter. So hopefully you enjoyed watching us harvest our potatoes grown in containers. Now it's time to harvest some corn. So stay tuned for another video coming up on my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to uh, leave a comment, please do so. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.